Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to look at an exciting method of flattening slabs with your Shop Saber CNC router. Utilizing wood slabs in furniture design has become very popular. Typically, these slabs are sliced out of a tree and normally include the bark, and they're usually thick. Well, in the drying process, these things warp and you get twist and cup and things like that. That has to be removed before we can actually use them in a furniture project. Now, if you just plane them, if you run these slabs through a thickness planer, they come out smooth, but they're still twisted. So we have to have a process to straighten them out or flatten them, and that's called facing, and that can be done with a jointer or a larger machine called a facer. Then once a flat face is produced, then you run it through a thickness planer and it becomes uniform thickness and it's straight. This is how we do this on a CNC router. First off, you're gonna need a vacuum table, T-slots, and part locator pins are used sometimes also, and of course an MDF spoil board and a vacuum pump, and typically we use one of the Becker pumps because it has a higher pressure level. Now here's how we start. We take our slab and we identify which surface rocks the least, and we clamp it to the table using the clamps and the T-slots and then we start fly cutting. So we typically use an inch and a half tool. We touch it off to the highest point on the slab and then we run a pocketing routine that basically cuts a flat surface and takes about an eighth of an inch off. We continue dropping that down until we get a perfect flat surface with no defects. Then we remove the slab, we put the spoil board on, we take that smooth surface, we lay it on the spoil board and turn the vacuum on and it holds it down and we do the same machining operation on the top side and once again we take it down until it's perfectly flat and at the required thickness and that's how we straighten lumber on a CNC router and the beautiful part of this is our limitation is the size of the table. The first thing we're going to do is place the slab on the vacuum table. Pick the side of the slab that rocks the least and then clamp it. Be sure and keep the clamps away from the machining operations. Using the highest point on the slab as a reference, we want to remove about an eighth of an inch from the entire surface. We keep repeating this process until all the defects are removed and a flat surface is produced. Now we need to remove the slab from the table and add the MDF spoil board to the vacuum table. Place the newly machined surface on the top of the spoil board and turn on the vacuum pump. The Becker pumps work best for this application. Vacuum should hold the slab in place. Using the highest point on the slab, we want to take off about an eighth of an inch per pass until the surface is cleaned up and desired final thickness is achieved.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Using your ShopSaber CNC router to surface large solid wood slabs is a great routing application. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact us at ShopSaber.com. Thank you for watching.